Why do we feel dizzy? Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Dan Perman. I'm a board certified chiropractic neurologist and the clinic director of Nexus Brain Center at Life Chiropractic College West. Today, I wanna to talk a little bit more about dizziness. Now, dizziness is a topic that's very near and dear to me because one of the main reasons why I got into neurological rehabilitation is because my mother dealt with chronic dizziness and she went to three or four specialists. They couldn't figure out what was going on with her. She went to a chiropractic neurologist and within two weeks, she was better. So this is a topic that I've learned a lot about that I'm really big on because these people that deal with dizziness, they do not have a lot of resources. The pharmaceutical approaches are pretty minimal, so we have to rely on rehabilitation to get these patients where they wanna go most of the time. And you know, while not everybody is going to respond to rehabilitation when we're talking about dizziness, a lot of people do, so exploring the rehabilitative models for this is a really important avenue for our patients to just be aware of. So what really is dizziness? Well, dizziness comes down to what we call a sensory mismatch. You see, one of the main jobs of your brain is to understand where your body is in space. This is incredibly important so that we can respond to our environment appropriately. You know, primitively get away from danger towards pleasure, that kind of stuff. It's so important that your brain knows where we are in space that there are multiple systems built into our body that are responsible for orienting us to our surroundings. Now, there are three primary senses in our body designed to orient us to 3D space. The most obvious one is the eyes. They give us a physical picture of the world around you. But then you have these little tubes inside your ears called the vestibular system. And the vestibular system's job is to tell your brain about head movement and head position. The last system that we're working with here is called the proprioceptive system. And proprioceptors are little sensors in all of your muscles, joints, fascia, and skin that orient your brain to the physical position of that muscle, joint, skin, or fascia. In order for your brain to have a solid understanding of where your body is in 3D space, all three of those systems, the eyes, the vestibular system, and the proprioceptive system need to be telling the brain the same exact message. As long as each system tells the brain the same thing and the brain can analyze that information appropriately, we're good, there's no problems. But if due to any kind of trauma, one or more of those systems starts to say something different than the other ones, now there is a sensory mismatch. The brain is getting information from one system that says one message and from the other systems that says another message. The brain has trouble putting this information together and the result of that is oftentimes dizziness.